Mr. Boss with the Mace Stars Foam Fighters crew. We've got the Wolverine Pro Tech all done and completed. Um, all these guys who are up here with me have, um, have made an impact with this plane, who have helped out in some way uh, or another. We have a couple who are, who are absent, so we've probably got about 10 kids total who are working on this project. Um, this is the one that we're going to fly. And then the deal was that these guys would send us all these, um, these sheets and then we would make the other one for them. So we're right now we've got a couple of these guys are cutting out um, the MF1 Wolverine for the, the Protec group that will go in their lobby as a display. Um, it is heavy, okay, we didn't think it was going to be heavy, but the, the ones that we chose, the pieces that we chose, we thought we did it right and it, it is just once you put it all together it starts to to get a little heavy, but this thing is is pretty sweet. Um, there's a couple tricky things. I know uh, Colby, where's Colby at? Yeah. You helped me out with a lot of the uh, gluing part because I needed more than just two hands. Um, and that was real tricky, huh? Yeah. Trying to get the main wings on with, without the give like a foam board would was definitely a lot harder. Um, the hinges, you can see here, here's the servos. Um, you know, we just scratched the surface so that the, the uh, servos would adhere to it. Um, but other than that, we tried to make, you know, this piece here is 3 16 the other one is smaller. So we have it so that we can control the flaps. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it's definitely heavy. And when we try to do some of the uh, thrust test with it, with just a 3-cell, it, was, it wasn't doing anything. So we had to put a 4-cell in there. So we're adding even more weight. So this thing is going to be a rocket. I'm scared to fly it. I'm scared to fly with all these guys out there, but of course we're going to want to watch it. <laughs> so... You know, we'll we'll see what happens, but the I mean everything just you know, fit just like the original Wolverine. Um, we got an 85 amp ESC in there, over large, so that we can use the the uh, four cell. This battery or this motor can handle it, so um, it's it's coming out pretty cool. The final version, the one that's going to go to Protec, will be different than this one. It'll have a different scheme. We'll make it heavier because uh, we're not going to fly it, so it'll look cool. We'll have different colors in there and stuff, so it'll look pretty pretty cool for those guys. But other than that, you know, we want to thank ProTech Composites for allowing us to uh, have this experience with carbon fiber. Um, we're using a lot of the scrap and the stuff that they've given us. You guys have made motor mounts for your new Big Bertha plane. Um, we've got guys who are making decorations for um, uh, future planes, cutouts, and all that good stuff. So it's definitely um, fun to work with. We're learning a lot with it. And uh, hopefully, hopefully we can get an all carbon fiber plane to fly. I know it sounds silly that we're doing it, but it's just an experience that these kids won't be able to get. So um, let's go out and try to fly this thing. Let's do it. Yeah. Ready? Okay, we're out here with the MF1 ProTech. Um, I'm gonna throw it off this line. We got some soft grass right here, so hopefully, if it doesn't have enough uh, bump to it, it'll just land in the grass. We've actually got some good wind. I actually wanted to win. Okay, um, here's the damage. Probably wouldn't have been that bad if I wouldn't have landed on the track. Um, we're gonna fix it. We'll bring it back out. Um, I think the uh, needed to move the, uh, the the battery back a little bit more for the CG. Um, I had it CG dialed in, but it just still I could not lift it. And the control surfaces were so giving. Um, it was really hard for me to kind of keep it on track, but. We'll go back and we'll fix it. It kind of gives it some character with all the scratches on it and stuff. So let's go back to the drawing board. Here we go. Trial two.
scared. I'm nervous. I'm shaking. Yeah! Oh my god. Oh my god. You alright? Oh. How was it? Um, it was scary. Uh, you could just tell the weight of the plane. Every time you turned, just wanted to just... Um, and I should probably, I need to fly it in a wide open area where there's not houses. Um, because it's just such a big plane. But, you know, I'd like to thank everyone who helped out with this project. And we're, we're building the next one right now for the um, guys over at Protect to put in their lobby. This was definitely a fun build. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll bring it back up and show it to the, the classes in the future. Because I don't, this thing is, is too nice to, to, to put sure. away. So. We'll definitely keep it and maybe we'll fly again on our party day and, and see if we can uh, max it out a little bit and maybe we'll do tricks. I'm just too scared. So what I did was I just turned down the expo so now when I'm turning it, it just only goes but maybe you know half inch or so on both sides. And then I got the elevator uh, set at a higher rate so when I turn the elevator on it'll you know, give me a little bit more of uh, a push just because I know it's so heavy. But other than that, Let's thank Protect Composites for uh, sponsoring us. Thank you, Protect Composites.